So in this episode, we will take a look at this tool git dumper that will allow us to dump all the git information we found in this Cyber Monday challenge. So well, we didn't find it yet. That's why we knew we're gonna use the git dumper. But we found out that there is some git stuff. So let's get it. Okay, maybe it's already installed. I don't know. Come on, not found. Okay, so let's install it real quick. That's not gonna take a lot of time. Nice, okay, we've installed it. Perfect. Now, what's an example usage? Let's go with this one. Boom, boom, sack. Um, all right, so we have, here is our target. This would be cybermonday.htb. And we have not git directly. We, you know what? I think we get just the assets because we don't know what's happening there. And we store it into the folder website git. And let's see what we can fetch from there. Wow, it's already done. That, that was really quick. Now let's go into website git and check out what we have. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. It looks like we have the entire source code. That's crazy. And now we're doing the most exciting of things there is to watch. I'm sorry that you have to through this, but uh, we're doing a code review. Leave a like if you get that reference. Now, to be honest, this is kind of boring to do it like this or, or tedious is the better word, I think. So let's just open it in the VS Code editor. Let's open the folder and where do we have it? Do we trust the authors? I don't know. We have to, I think. And now we have the entire website structure. Some PHP. Wait, we have an API? How did I miss that? Oh, by the way, I don't think you can read anything. Let's make this a little bit, a little bit bigger. And all right, so we apparently have an API. Here's where you can register API routes for your application. These routes are loaded by the root service provider with a group which is assigned the API middleware group. Enjoy building your API. Okay, now we have an API. This is where it comes apart, sorry. I have the humor of a five-year-old. We have the web roots, which seem to be interesting as well. We have channels. What kind of channels are we talking about? So like basically like the listeners for when actions should happen. Okay, but let's go back to the roots. Now the roots and the API seem to be the most interesting. Get user. Can we get the user? Let's try. We didn't get it. Okay, all right. Let's continue on with web. Maybe web routes provide us with the route to the API. Look, we have got, we've, we've got a couple of things in here. We have the welcome one, which we saw the products one, which we saw log out within try. We have the sing, sign up one, the login one, the home one. We saw that profile and update. We have the dashboard one. Wait, we have the profile and the dashboard one. Isn't that like the same? No, apparently it's not. So let's look at the dashboard and we can't find that it just redirected us. <laughs> what if we log out and try to access the dashboard? Oh, oh, that's nice. We got like a fully fledged Laravel, I think was the framework that we, we get a fully fledged error message with like all kinds of information that's like giving candy to a kid. It even gives us the request to check. Isn't that nice dashboard controller? So it looks like the dashboard controller index is the routing, but where did the mistake happen? This admin, I have to understand how this code works now, do we? Don't we? But before we do that, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is not Fairphone itself, but I think they pronounced Yode, which is a basically a custom version of Android that is focused on your privacy. So they have a built-in privacy app tracker protector. I can show you that real quick. You kind of have a built-in firewall, which blocks all outgoing requests. For example, I tried TikTok, which is like one of the worst apps when it comes to privacy. And it blocks basically all requests is it's making to advertiser and that's that are trying to track you. You have a dashboard where you can see how good you're protected or not, how many requests were blocked, what type of requests are blocked. You can even change it to be disabled, so you can't really see it in this frame. But at the top, 
right here you can disable this entire thing but it's pretty neat because said i tried a couple of apps the worst one is tiktok and um, also the android system comes already with two app stores installed and none of them are google based so it's completely the googlet android and you can even pick out a phone they have a free subscription they have a more premium subscription and then the highest tier subscription you can check out the prices on their website and full disclosure they sent me this web uh, this and uh, this phone with the basic subscription and i think it's enough to at least start out like the premium subscription has parental control and other kind of services but this seems to effectively block spyware that doesn't advertise themselves as spyware like Google, Facebook, etc. They have everything custom made. So they have an own browser and they have an own browser. They have an open source mail program, which is really based on encryption. It's uh, every kind of app that you're accustomed to is on here with the added benefit of not spying on you. And this is all part of the free subscription or of the free OS. Everything is mostly open source or custom made by Yode and you can find them at yode.tech. Exactly, they have a different kind of things. You can buy a phone, you can just download their OS and then in jailbreak your phone or boot break your phone. I don't know what's called in the Android world. You can also buy already pre-flashed phones from their website directly. They have the Fairphone 4, Fairphone 5, um, different kinds of Samsung, See, they have Shift, they have OnePlus, they have TerraCube, they have a couple of different phone manufacturers and they also have refurbished phones. And I really think, I really like the idea of having one company out there that it's like the Googling or making Google Android free as they proclaim it. And that it's heavily focused on privacy in a world where everything is not focused on privacy. By the way, you can even in their own app where they block all your all your, all the privacy thing you can even check out which countries are spying on you so you know exactly where does where your data was sent to i mean it's pretty neat if your main focus is privacy i mean it's even down to the camera app everything is custom made privacy made just to keep your privacy private and uh, not let anyone spy on you. But let's continue with the hacking challenge. Now, maybe we take a quick look at what's happening here. So we have a couple of things that how does it know that I need to be an is admin? Okay, we have the off service provider, which is this one, which I think is the one that provides us, sorry, an um, app HTTP middleware. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. So, but um, we have the off service provider. Thank you very much. Did you read that somewhere in here? And authenticate admin. User is admin. Yes. Okay. So the user needs an is admin flag. How do we get this there? We have the controllers. We have an off controller. Wait, this is the register thing. This is the login thing. Profile controller. Update. Yes, we have user update data. What if we could smuggle in like an is admin or something like that into that request? I think it's stored in a database. Uh, it has some databases, database access. Maybe we can check out the database, make us to, oh, we have, we don't have access to the database directly. We would, we, I'm forgetting it, but we're actually not on the server here. We just downloaded this. So we have to find a way to edit our user um, and out uh, or to edit our user to become an admin. Funnily enough, Nothing's checked here if it's an admin or not. It just checks for the password. Maybe we can abuse that one. So real quick, I go here. Then we go to the profile and maybe, I mean, we can check it out. The update data, what does it do? I don't see it, but maybe it does authenticable. Okay, let's, the way I want this, I add an is admin to the request and then it will create the is admin thing. So what was the password? This one. And now comes the crazy part where we intercept it and then we update it. 
And then in here, we just say is admin equals one and we forwarded it. And now I hope it worked and we have the dashboard. Let's remove the intercept and we're on the dashboard. Fantastic. We have become the admin user on the website. And I think we have a couple of things here that we could have. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi in here and Greedo and Darth Vader. Perfect. Maybe we can like upload files. That's what we need. And that's what we're going to take a look at next week. Fantastic. See you there.